Welcome to this US Master video tutorial. In this video, we want to show the classic autophoto generation with US Master version 9.1. We did create in the previous videos a digital terrain model using the feature based matching and least square matching functionalities from the surface generation. And Afterwards, we did edit the point cloud to get from this digital terrain model a specific height accuracy. After the editing is completed, we want now to create autophotos and today we will run the classic autophoto generation, which will auto rectify uh, every single photo and create an autophoto from it in our temporary file structure. And then when we run the classic autophoto, I can do it here during we speak. So here I choose from the method, the classic autophoto. I already created here a strategy. By default, normally you have here a different setting. So you can here create a new one. And then I call the classic autophoto and then I switched here classic autophoto and I defined my ground sample distance the pixel size to 5 cm because my data uh, we have looked yesterday at it has uh, every 4.6 centimeters um, um, in autophoto pixel and therefore we want to stay within our range which is then um, five centimeter. You should not generate autophotos for this project below 4.6 centimeters because then you will extrapolate the autophoto pixels. And then I can here start the process, I can save it. Uh, please close all existing files. Uh, if you have some files open from the temporary folder, because we will always check if the temporary folder is accessed or not. And if not, then we delete it and we rewrite all the new temporary files into it. Therefore, if you want to store your report file, then you should now move it out of your temporary folder because after the auto photo generation, then this um, log file, for example, for our point cloud generation also will miss there. So I will use all the informations and start the autophoto uh, generation. So after the autophoto process has auto rectified all the 43 photos, then US Master runs some automatic radiometric and color corrections between these autophotos. And then it will write finally the mosaic for the project into your project folder. So the mosaic is not stored in the temporary file structure, but it's written to the project folder. And after the mosaic is then finished, we can then review the mosaic because the mosaic is automatically added to the US master project. And then we can overlay our digital terrain model one more time and we can see if the auto rectification was done correctly in these areas or if there are some corrections needed. And this is also possible. We can rerun some corrections on our digital terrain model and then we can calculate a small patch, a mosaic patch, and this patch can then be added to our uh, already existing mosaic for optimization. And this would then also be our final deliverable. So we have then our uh, mosaic with a specific ground sample distance created from our edited point cloud. And uh, this then you can um, provide to your customer. So the mosaic in here, as I mentioned, is fin has finished the auto rectification for the photos and is now currently running the mosaicing with the radiometric 
correction and color correction. I will speed up now the video till the mosaic is finished and then we continue. Here we go, the project is done. We see here at the final stage that the project output is done. So we can close here the window. If you would have warnings or errors, you have here an error or warning tab where it's mentioned what the issue is. And then we can load again our um, digital terrain model. And when we load a digital terrain model, we can here on the left side see now in the auto tab that the mosaic was automatically placed into our project file. We can double click here the display icon and then we can here remove the points if we want and also the footprints. And then we just see our mosaic here and we can then zoom in, take a look at the data itself. And as mentioned, we can still look at the point clouds, also at the contour lines. And so we can see also where our control points are displayed, if they are correctly in position here on our control points. And also if there are some misplacements in our auto photo itself in the mosaic, and then we could here do some corrections. And also as mentioned, we want to take a look at our temporary folder so when we look here at the temporary folder in the US master engine temp, we see here the in, the, um, in between the temporary files and here in the rectify folder, we see now our auto uh, photos for each single photo. I just here want to show here when we take the auto photo then we have here, this is the auto photo from the photo 3782. So if we look at 3782, we see this is the complete photo. And from this complete photo, then this portion was here extracted. So we see that not the whole image is auto rectified, but the center part of the, uh, of the auto photo, which is nice uh, from the aerial image which is nice because then we have less occlusion, less buildings are bending into the areas or trees. We are looking more from a center part of view into this location. And this gives us then also better looking auto photos. And also additionally, the mosaic was then color corrected. So uh, allowing to avoid the uh, difference between radiometry in these parts. And uh, if we want to take a look here at uh, this information, then we can look here also at the auto scene information, which is then in the mosaic folder. This uh, auto scene DXF uh, shows us where the scene line was processed. We can load this also into our US edit part. We can go here and take this location and import here some vector data and then we go directly to this folder, load the auto scene. Then we select these two informations and add them as break lines. And then we can now see where these single auto photos were extracted. And if there are issues in these areas, if you would see here a color difference going from one to the next photo. Last but not least, again, we will just go here to the uh, road. Here I have, for example, the seam line that was having uh, generated here a geometric distortion going from one foot to the other, mainly because the, well, I have to remove again my seam lines here. So I just here uh, go to the terrain and here don't use the break lines. And uh, when we look here at our postal parts here in the profile view, we can uh, see that here the street is not 
uh, going straight, but we have here some undulation in this part. And so we could here fix these parts. We can place here the data on the ground and then regenerate this uh, area here. And I will just quickly go through this process uh, and, and then not explain it, just that you see how I correct it. I did some small correction here to have the data on the ground in this part here. And now I will run from the edit mosaic, the patch correction. So I will here define a patch here where my misplaced auto photo is. And so I will just place it here also within the trees just to have a smooth overlay again from it. And then this is now my new patch that will be created hopefully then avoiding here this misplacements. And then I say to create this patch here, it will automatically um, here use the same pixel size from my original mosaic. And then it will run for this area, a mosaic generation, a patch mosaic generation. Then when the patch mosaic is created, it will also be added to our project. So I will then open up afterwards again the auto tab and in the auto tab you will see then the patch. And we can switch between the patch and the mosaic. We can see if this patch was now uh, was now representing this area in a better way. And if we agree that this is our better solution uh, because of better radiometry or better geometry or both of them, then we can say, okay, let's add this patch to the mosaic. And this is exactly what we will now do. I will here close this part. We will again zoom to this area here. I open the auto tab. We see now here is the patch view. I activate the patch and then we see in the patch now this part is correctly done. Of course, what I did not do is I did not continue everywhere. So I should have done the whole correction along the whole street, but I think you get the idea. So here before and here after. And so we can then add this patch into our mosaic. And to do this, we use the merge patch functionality. So I will then place this into our um, mosaic and then we see now this is now our new mosaic and of course um, this is a nice tool to make some uh, optimization and to deliver a high quality mosaic finally to your customer going back to the output folder so when I go here in this folder we see here is the mosaic.tiff which is then our uh, final deliverable from the classic auto photo generation. I hope this helped you to um, create in with the feature based matching least square matching a good digital terrain model to edit your terrain model and to deliver a good mosaic as a final product. Thank you very much for watching this video tutorial and have a nice day. Goodbye.